guys, it's me. I'm here. I'm a minute late. A couple minutes late. I just uh, dumped my water bath all over the floor. So that's a great way to start start the evening. Oh well. <laughs> Such is life. Now I have wet cold feet. But I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. And you're here. I'm here. That's all that's that's all I need. Let me grab this on Facebook really quick and make sure we are jiving. Hope you all have had a great start to your week in spite of everything. Brand new laptop, slow as Christmas. Slow as Christmas. So I have a few things that I want to talk to you about tonight before I get going. And one of those is just a reminder to like and share. By sharing a video or sharing content, that is how I grow my business. So if you could share with somebody that you know also enjoys some crafting. They enjoy crafting. Hey Kayla. Let them know by sharing. Let them know about my chalk habit by sharing the page, sharing a, a video just so they can get a taste of it and um, realize that they need to check it out again and um, get more information. So like, share, and for goodness sake, comment on a video so that I know you're here and um, can answer any questions that you have. The other thing I want to talk to you about is Club Couture. If you've been holding out on Club Couture, which is our monthly subscription, you need to take advantage of it. It is bounce back month. So if you join Club Couture, you are getting a subscription kit each month. Signing up this month means that you will get your kit in August. However, once you've signed up for Club Couture, then you're eligible for some um, extra bonuses. And you need to take advantage of those bonuses between now and the 14th. So if you're interested in saving money, comment below on Club and I will give you more information. In fact, I'll invite you into my VIP group, which is my very important peeps. And that will help me give you the information that you need to make a decision about Club Couture. If you love crafting, if you enjoy a, something a little artistic every month and Happy Mail appeals to you, Club Couture is probably going to be right up your alley. Don't wait. Run, run. Sign up for Club Couture. It's awesome. And money saving. Okay, that pitch is over. Tonight, I'm going to work with some letters, and my disclaimer is I've not used them yet. I was going to jump on and use them and um, kind of get a feel for it, but I ran out of time. So, we're learning together. There are some things that I do know about working with letters, and I will go ahead and share that with you as I work with this. Um, I'm going to chalk on a... I'm going to use Chalkology Paste, and I'm going to do it on a found surface, and my found surface is metal. It is this awesome caddy, and this thing's huge. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I might have to do some adjusting with the camera, but this is, um, I think it says on here, cleaning supply caddy. <laughs> Cleaning supply caddy. 
That's funny. Because you know what's going in it? Chalk paste. And squeegees. And board erasers. And anything else that I need if I'm going to go do a make and take or something like that. So this little container is going to get personalized and that is something that is really cool and I haven't shown you guys yet is that Chalk Tour allows you to be able to um, personalize things for people which I think is really cool. So I'm going to put my business name on one side and then I'm going to use this flower from the welcome signpost um, transfer and put a little sunflower in a place or two. Sound good? Let's get started. I'm going, actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do one of the sunflowers first because I feel like there's a good chance actually doing the letters is going to take a little bit of time. So if you're one of those people who kind of jumps on, wants to see what's going on and then you come back and watch the rest of it later. I want you to kind of see the sunflower so that you're like, oh, I want to see what she does with that. And then if you see a couple of letters or two, you get the idea of how to work it. Then you can tune out and come back and catch the rest later. All right. So sunflower. I'm going to use bark. I'm going to stick bark in the middle. I actually might have to do the middle afterwards because the bark part, the, the middle of the flower, is blue if you look at this transfer. And if it's blue on the transfer, that means the chalk paste is not going to go into that section. That means I'm going to have to go back and do some hand painting with my bark after the fact. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and catch my red and yellow. I'm going to make some orange and then I'm going to use the yellow. So I'll have yellow out here and I'm going to kind of do a, a ombre technique so that I can get the orange here and then the yellow spreading out to yellow as it goes to the edges. Make sense? I hope so. It makes sense in my head. We'll see how the execution goes. I probably could take, take this tag off because I don't need to be reminded of what this is. I will tell you, I got a very good deal on it. It was in clearance. This lovely container was originally $40. I can assure you I did not pay $40 always find your surfaces on sale. That is the way to go. So I've already kind of got my letters out and ready for my business name when I get to that, but I really do think the best way to go is to go ahead and get a sunflower up here. Because this is metal, I'm going to have to buzz my pieces pretty well, especially if they're sticky. Some transfers just come come out of the package stickier than others. And if it is, it's going to need a little extra love. Hey, Lanita. I saw something pump, pop up in the bottom and my speaker symbol was covering it over. I had to uncover Lanita. Good to see you, dear. Thank you for joining. I miss your face. Like a lot of people right now. Lanita, did you have a graduate in your house this year? Or was that a mistake? Did I see that? Um, Christian, did Christian graduate this year? It's 
one is pretty sticky. Pretty sticky. I cannot believe how um, those boys have grown up so fast. If you remember that I had those babies in Sunday school when they were in kindergarten. It's traumatic. Traumatic. And I'm sure as parents it's even more traumatic, but it's traumatic as a Sunday school teacher to realize that they are off to bigger and better things as high school graduates. Sorry y'all, I'm gonna have to stand up so you're gonna have to deal with headless Janelle for a little bit here. Still super sticky. I don't want this to be um, cooling really hard when I go to take it off when I'm done. like this is probably just gonna be super sticky no matter what I do so I'm gonna work at it here I'm just gonna try to get make sure I don't have bubbles and that the edges are in place I don't want to press down on it a lot anywhere else because I feel like Letting that kind of stay loose, loose is probably the best thing I can do. Okay, now I need to go ahead and mix some red and some yellow. Give myself, hopefully, something resembling the orange that I would like. I feel like just a just a dollop of red is probably gonna take care of that. More yellow than than red in my little combination here. I feel like there's not quite enough room on my desk for this this evening. Need a bigger workspace. And you know, you see sunflowers of all different uh, shades, so I'm not even sure I have to be real particular about this. Kind of is what it is. Ooh, it's looking good, looking good. And if I did more than one sunflower on here and they were all a different shade of orange, it would not matter one bit. Just not going to be that fussy about it. That yellow is going to need a, just a tiny bit of love when I go to put it on by itself. Ah! Flying stir sticks. Um, usually on metal, I would choose to use ink, maybe, but but I'm just not really concerned with having the heat set ink and all that mess. I think this is just gonna be fine just as it is. All right, I'm ready to throw some orange on there. I bet I even have more orange than I really need.
do. Made a lot of orange. Okay, let's dig into that yellow really quick. I love this bumblebee yellow. And I'm not even gonna be, although I wanna be careful dipping back into my yellow, I'm not even gonna be mad if that orange kind of smears up into the other petals. Do not even care. This is gonna be messy. And I think it's gonna be fantastic that way. Just need to get this covered as quick as I can because that orange is gonna start to dry with my fan blowing down on it. And the awesome thing about this is if I get a little crazy and I get a little bit of um, a little bit of paste where it doesn't belong. Okay, I'm going to take my finger and just dampen it a little tiny bit and then I'm going to rub where those two colors meet. Give it a blend out. Kind of a messy job of it. Does it matter to me? Does not matter at all. Okay, I'm gonna really quick grab some of this extra stuff I've got going on here. And, ooh, it's gonna be tough. It is sticking, sticking, sticking. I want to try to get up on two sides and peel kind of evenly through the middle, not pull at an angle. Like it so far. Can you see? It's curled up my transfer a little bit, and that's okay because once I get it in the water, it'll it'll all it'll all be fine. Very cute, very cute. All right, there's the basic sunflower. And then I will go in with my paintbrush. and add that bark in just to kind of fill in that center a little bit. But the rest of that did exactly what I expected it to, so I'm pretty happy with that. Very cute. This transfer is meant to be used with the welcome signpost, in case you missed that, which is huge. It's a huge transfer set that is made for people who want to do um, those big porch leaners, you know, the little leaning welcome signs that people have on their porches. So this is part of that. So it's meant to be big. It's meant to be kind of rustic because it's going to be on a board that's um, seen from a distance. 
that's going to get a weathered look over time anyway. So, yeah, yeah. Very rustic looking. I like it. We're going to let that dry. And I'm going to do some lettering. You know, what's really cool is I could also do some chalking down these bins and mark them for what whatever tool that I want to put in each of those little cubbies. That would be fun. Okay. So, and you know what? I'm not even entirely certain that this will fit. It might be too big. I didn't even check that. Because, yeah, that's not, that's not going to fit. Um, I could put my name on it. I could put my last name. What do you think? Last name or first name? I should put my first name on it because, you know, I'm that kid that grew up, and Lenita, I bet you you can relate to this, grew up with, like, nothing personalized because my name's that name that nobody else has, right? Let's do that. I am personalizing this with my first name. I have to find all the pieces that I set aside before. I chalk a. It's gonna be great. Now, here is the important part of working with these letters, and I'm gonna do them in teal. I'm gonna do them in teal, which is our favorite favorite color, couture teal, N, 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 E, really? Maybe if I look at them right side up, it'll help. C, D, F, G, J, M, N, E. I feel like the L was at the end for some reason. Nope, L is part of the word chalk, so that's over here. J, A, N, E, L, L, E. Okay, I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So J, A, N, E, L, L, E. Yep, it's a good place to start. Okay, here we go. Not so sticky, but because it's on metal, I'm gonna go ahead and fuzz anyway. I don't know if I finished my thought. So my thought was that I was gonna tell you you probably, I'm gonna tip this up. First of all, I'm gonna take this out because that is on my nerves. On that letter transfer, do you see the strange little markings right there? Those are going to help us line this up with the next letter. I feel like that's just a tiny bit crooked. So if I were doing some personalization on a shirt like this, I would be out of luck because 
I need to be able to clean those marks off. I'm going to chalk those marks or, or you would use some kind of tape to help you with that positioning and then you'd peel that tape off. So I guess there's a way you could do it, but all that to say, those marks are there to help me get this lined up. So I'm going to chalk my J and I'm also going to chalk these little placement marks. And just about anything that is a, a font or a layered project. I know a couple of you out there that have some layered items. They'll also have these little registration marks on them that are there to help you with alignment. So what that little guy is, is a half of a circle. And when I go to line up my next letter, when I line up my next letter, it's gonna finish the circle. And that will be how I know that I've done it right. So, next letter. By the way, already have these marked with the letter name on the back so that when I go to put them away, it's not a nightmare. Running my fan. I'm gonna give this a little fan. I'm not gonna use my embossing tool because it'll make the metal hot and then I'll have to wait for that to cool. So I'll just give this a little, little breeze here. Hopefully that will be good enough. This font that I'm using is brush font. So it's not as easy as it looks because what they should have done is they should You really need a whole circle. <laughs> you need a whole circle to make this happen. And it's sticky. Because I can't see the other I can only This is not as easy as I thought it would be. It might be better on a easier to do on a chalkboard than on metal, maybe. like nowhere near where it needs to be. Play the bottom pieces. in pretty good shape, but I can't get the top and the bottom. Okay, I feel 
like that's pretty good. Now I'm just gonna get this flat. Okay. Woof. Mercy. Mercy, mercy. Okay. Ready to go. With the A. Still gonna do my registration marks for better or worse. <sighs> Crush fingers. But you know what? I didn't even I didn't fill in the <laughs> I didn't fill in the registration mark to see if I had a full circle. It's all good. It's all good. We'll do it with the next one. I used it. I just didn't make sure that the circle completed itself. Hey. Try it a little. I really love how these colors kind of deepen a little bit as they dry. I'll flip this over in a second so you can see that sunflower again and see how that um, how that color has changed just a little bit as it dried. Even more vibrant. Right? Am I right? I am looking for, I don't know if I'm necessarily looking for it, but I hope you guys saw my post on the business page, on this page, for that I am looking for some folks who are interested in maybe earning some free product by posting Posting a new catalog launch Facebook party. So I had one in June and it was great. It was really great. If someone had been hosting that party, they would have made some good benefits off of that. I hosted that one. Now I want to give you guys a chance to get a little benefit from that. Okay, I know these are going to overlap a little bit. The A and the N. You know what? If you kind of look under there and and get where you can see the shadow, the light going through that, it kind of helps. It's a little, a little crooked. Just a little crooked. So you can see, if you look down in that letter, there's a little bit of overlap with the with the A, and that's okay because these are supposed to connect. And this time I'm going to go ahead and do both of these registration marks up here at the top. And both of these down at the bottom. So I can see how I did. Pretty good. Bad. They're a little overly, just a little bit. Can live with that. 
I feel like this is uh, an art, something that's going to take a little bit of practice. And it'll be nice to do it on a surface that you can back up and clean it up, erase it if you need to, and try again, right? That's the best part of Chalk Couture, in my opinion, is using surfaces that give you a little bit of flexibility. Hey, Candace. gives you a little bit of flexibility if you make a mistake or you decide you don't like it or if you do something seasonal. Right now I have my um, 4th of July sign on my front porch. It's big. It's a big like porch leaner and I don't think I want to keep it 4th of July so I didn't seal it. And I'll be able to go back and do something new on it when that fantastic new catalog comes out with all the fun fall stuff. I know that's not completely dry, but I'm going to go for it anyway. This may be crooked. That's not the that's not the E. That's the L. Hang on, you. I need this one. See that didn't look right. Like, why is that so big? Try again. So, Candace, I am lining up. There are these little registration marks on here that I am attempting to get lined up. Each piece has a half circle, so when you get it in the right place, you can achieve a pretty good looking circle. I didn't fuzz this one enough. It's being very sticky. So far I've come pretty close, but not This is the font I was thinking of, Candace, when I said I needed to uh, personalize a sign, a Gilmore Girls sign. But I did pretty good. It is down a little lower than it really should be, but not much. Now I'm going to need this one again, so I'm going to pop over here and clean it off a little bit. And while I'm doing that, let me finish chasing that rabbit. So, I'm going to have a another party on the 15th for the launch of our new fall-winter catalog. And I'd love to have a host for that. Who'd like to benefit from the sales that may happen as a result of that party if you would be interested in doing that 
either on the 15th or around the 15th. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly that day, although it cannot be the 16th because I will be traveling that day. Um, it doesn't matter to me if you need to do it a different day. Just some someday that's close to that catalog launch. As close as possible to when those new products come out because you know the longer you wait there's a chance you may miss out on something that you really wanted and I'd hate for that to happen. Although I hear supply for this catalog because it's the big one it's a big um, one of the big ones that they do twice a year once in the spring and once in the fall that they should have plenty of product on hand. Ooh, that is crazy sideways. Let's try that again. So here's what I feel like. If you were not using... If you were not using the little registration marks, you could still you could still eyeball this because as long as it's kind of as long as it's overlapping, it's fine. As long as it's overlapping, it should be fine. Hey, Heather. I think that's Heather. Candace, I was telling him I was gonna put my chalk habit on. I didn't have enough room. And then I decided, you know what? I never could find my name on all of the personalized stuff that everybody else had growing up. So I'm going to personalize this with my name. Look at that. I came closer on top to that for full full um, circle than I did on anything else without even trying to line it up. Go figure. didn't clean that up terribly well, just well enough to to be able to use it again. I'm going to give that a second to dry and while that's drying, I'm going to grab grab a bit of paper towel and go back and Go ahead and clean up those marks, my little helper marks. Candace, could you table? Yeah, you absolutely could. Yeah. I was talking about that, Candace, at the beginning, um, when I was thinking about like how could you do this on a shirt to personalize a shirt because you can't like if you do ink on a shirt it's not coming off so it's not like you could you could use the registration marks but you can all you have to do is set yourself a line um, with some painters tape and if you're like a, a little OCD about where your letters are gonna fall but the thing with this font is that it's intended to be a little up and down. That's the way it's made. But if I were working with, uh, there's another one called handwritten font, and that really should go on straight. It should show up straight. 
then yeah, I would be super OCD and I'd put down a tape line. <laughs> yeah, I know how you are. I know how you are. Absolutely. I think I got this handled. I think it's going on fairly, fairly well. Now I think because the letters overlap more than I thought they were going to overlap, it's not centered from left to right as well as I thought it would be. But I feel like I can live with that. Nope, I'm gonna leave that up. I can tell that those L's, see that's the thing, like those L's need to be pretty stinking close to the same To the same spot to the same level you know what I'm saying so I will be a little a little cray about that because that's important the other letters not so important almost there y'all almost there Love my little chalk and apron. <clears throat> Just wipe my wipe my hands where I need to and not worry about it. I should dry that just a tiny bit. Can you can definitely tell when you're when your chalk has dried because it changes just a little bit in color. See if I can get this E to line up with the other E. <clears throat> I think down just a tiny bit. Calling it good, calling that one. And I don't need any marks because I'm not using them. I'm not adding any more letters. Look, it's my name. I'm so excited. So excited. That's just really cute. Now. The rest of these marks off here. Put 
the lid back on this teal. And let's see. How am I doing on time? Nine o'clock, 45 minutes. Okay. So. So y'all, you know, what I'm probably gonna do, and I will, I'll go ahead and close off this live, but what I'm probably gonna do to finish this off, I'm feeling another sunflower. Sunflower, in case you missed it. Feeling another sunflower right here, like just a part of it, not the whole thing. Part of a sunflower here, and then probably go with a sunflower on the back as well and then this side uh, maybe I'll put chalk tour logo or something so that this little thing is ready to go when I can head out and do some make and takes with the public it's gonna be awesome um, Again, this sunflower, I'm going to hand paint some bark into that center, and then, and then that's it. So a couple other sunflowers, doesn't matter if the orange matches, sunflowers are all unique, almost like fingerprints, and that's going to be really cute. So when I'm done with it, I'll go ahead and post a picture of the finished product. If you like this, go ahead and like the video, make sure you share it with a crafty friend, and let them know where you found me. If you are interested in being a hostess for a launch party for the new catalog, it is online, it is virtual. You don't have to do anything other than invite guests. I do the rest. It's very simple. Um, if you'd like to do that, go ahead and comment that you, how about, how about party? So comment party if you'd like to be a hostess and I will get you set up and we'll do that sometime the week of the 15th, which is next week or the week after. Sometime in that first week after the catalog is launched would be great. And I think that covers it. So you guys have a great evening. Be safe, be well.